Hello everyone and welcome to the Week in Geek for 11th of May 2020. It looks like the movie scene isn't about to be left behind in terms of making reboots or remakes. Hollywood has recently revealed that they've got a few 20 plus year old films up for the touch-up treatment as well. First would be Sylvester Stallone simply nonchalantly revealing that he has been low-key working on Demolition Man 2. Yes, a sequel. Yes, the one before Wesley Snipes was up to killing vampires. The movie that we thought would be stuck in cryostasis for eternity. But here he is, streaming on Instagram, just answering a fan's question. Soon after, also on Instagram, LeBron James makes a post showing off the title of a film in the works on his cap. Space Jam A New Legacy. The film will be starring the basketball star and more popular players not only from the NBA but also the WNBA. Both films while making me happy upon hearing it puts a few questions in my head. Stallone's pretty old now, are they going to give it the old Arnold treatment where they're just gonna make him mostly CGI? Or are they gonna make a new guy play Demolition Man altogether? Will LeBron be as good a personality on a film as Michael Jordan was? Will Warner Brothers follow up any of these with an official trailer or announcement? I suppose we'll see in the near future. Live events are certainly dealing with more than their fair share of troubles thanks to the pandemic, so the organizers have been looking for ways to still hold their event while not holding it in a convention hall full of fans. Both San Diego Comic Con and Tokyo Game Show have announced that they will no longer be holding events as they usually do, but this time will be showing all of their attractions through online means. No official details have been presented yet, but celebrities talking to their fans through live streams and online polls may be the stable for the foreseeable future. In terms of conventions and live events, who would have thought that of all things, the cringe fest that was the Crunchyroll Awards would be pioneering this new direction? Who knew? Microsoft seems to have to run into a bit of a snag with their Xbox X because there was a mistake in labeling their live stream. See, what happened was they announced that they would be making an Xbox X gameplay reveal stream, except all the games they showed off didn't really show the gameplay itself. They were all teasers or trailers instead. I mean, how much gameplay do you need in a gameplay reveal stream, right? Honestly, if you checked out the live stream without the idea of gameplay reveals, it plays out just fine if not with a bit of cringe, which is pretty normal for these corporate presentations. To be fair, each trailer they showed was labeled that it was captured through the engine, live in the engine, but you know, since it's still in development, that's not a guarantee. But if this is a show meant for you to believe more in the Xbox X, there's a few things that you'd want to have to entice the audience with, which is gonna be gameplay and exclusives, and that show had neither. Aaron Greenberg, the GM of Xbox Games Marketing, had acknowledged that they may have set the wrong expectations for those who watch and said that they will be learning from the experience. He also follows up that there will be more to reveal soon and that fans should look forward to it. This positive attitude towards the criticism is something I see so rarely within corporates that I actually appreciate how he answered it. So I hope that they're gonna be able to show something more worthwhile and will convince more people to be more favorable towards Xbox. I'm not a fan of Xbox, but I hope they do a good job. The famed author Rumiko Takahashi, who's behind some of the memorable shows in the 90s like Ranma One Half and Uruta Yatsura, has a new show coming soon, and it's going to be the sequel for Inuyasha which will be called Yasha Hime. The new series will be made predominantly with a team that made Inuyasha, as for the story, it will center around the original cast's children, a pair of twin sisters from Sashimaru the antagonist and the daughter of Inuyasha and Kagome the protagonists. These characters will be beginning their journey through the worlds to learn more about others and themselves. Fans are already theorizing who could possibly be the mother of Sashimaru's kids, and of course they did. I personally just hope it's gonna be a good show. Fortunately, we won't have to wait long to find out, as the series will be airing in Japan this fall, and Viz had already announced that they will be handling the international streaming rights for this series. SSSS Grid Band was probably the most well-received anime in 2018, and some time ago they had already announced that there will be a sequel to the series, and that sequel will be called SSSS Dina Zenon. Considering how Grid Band ended, it didn't appear to leave many questions to answer to merit a new series, so we're not sure if this is going to be a sequel or some sort of spin-off. What we are sure of is that it's going to be part of the Grid Man universe. Dina Zenon is actually another old Tokusatsu character that's half god, half mecha dinosaur, or dina dragon if you want to be strict with terms. They recently released a key visual which suggests that it's going to be an entirely new story. All we really have right now is this poster so we don't know when it'll air yet. While not much is revealed, we're already scanning the designs for references to obscure Transformers shows, and we will find it and we will tell you when we do. 
Anyway, with that, you are all caught up. Thank you for watching or listening in. And if you like this content, why don't you like it or maybe subscribe or maybe even share it so that other people can know about the news as well. If there are other kinds of news bits that you'd like us to cover or discuss, you can reach us through Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. We also have this YouTube channel where we make all sorts of content, but we make all of our content on reamrufiles.com. Anyway, that'll be all for now. Thank you for listening in again, and we will see you again next time.